Well, let's see if my fears are warranted. I'm thinking they are. Glacier Valley. Ooh, monies. Or whatever these are. Experiences. Is... So how much does this actually boost my damage? I never bothered to actually check and try and find that out. Money. Got to get that money. There we go. Boink. 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 Ow. You're a jerk. I see you. <laughs> Dip. See, casting spells in midair doesn't seem to have any movement penalty. I think it's just kind of better to <laughs> cast spells in midair if you can. Dodged you. Hey, it's the Boo Bats! What's up, Boo Bats? I missed you guys. Come here. Oh god! Kill it! Kill it! Frickin' kill that thing. Okay. They're not nearly as bad as they were. In Epic Battle Fantasy 3, but oh my god. You know why I hate those things if you played Epic Battle Fantasy 3 on Epic Difficulty. Oh my god. The the monoliths in the final area were freaking ridiculous. As in, they can kill your entire party with a single attack, and they're a normal enemy, and there's like 30 of them in the final area. It takes like 5 minutes to kill one of them. Unless you're maxed out on freaking everything. It still takes a little while then. They're pretty much freaking ridiculous. Whee! Did we get every... I guess we got everything in here. You can't trick me, I'm the Mario man. Don't know where that came from. Fall in the pit. I just love that sound so much. And see, it's not as good when they just when you just kill them. It, they gotta fall. It's, it's better that way. Yoink. Oh. Lame. And see, even the icicles have slightly different sizes. Ow. And I bet the hitboxes are, you know, fit the different sizes too. It, gives, it just gives the game a sense of realness, instead of just looking like something slammed together with the tile editor, which oftentimes is exactly what happens, but still. Ow. I want to be cheap, because you're a jerk. Ah, screw that. Oh god! Okay, these guys really aren't nearly as bad, which I'm not sure how you can make a platformer enemy as bad as you could make the monoliths in Epic Battle Fantasy 3, but they were freaking insane. Ow. I believe they had one spell that was just instant... Oh, whoa. Okay. I think they had one spell that was just instant death on one character, and then one that did this giant freaking laser that did insane damage to your whole party. And if you weren't fully healed, and sometimes if you were fully healed, it could kill your whole party in one shot. In fact, I think it pretty much did, unless you had defense against dark magic, I think it was. Aw, oh, crap. And because of the equipment set, I think you can only have two characters completely resistant to dark. So, his laser pretty much always killed someone. It was a pain in the butt to deal damage to, as you'd expect with something made out of stone. Oh god. Well, that hurt. Was it worth it? It was worth it. I think. I'll have to see what the stats are, but... It seems like that would be okay. Oh, hey, it's the, uh... Final Fantasy crew, kinda. 
they use the four... It's from the first Final Fantasy. They use the four characters in a more obvious reference in Epic Battle Fantasy 3. At least I'm pretty sure what that's intended to be a reference to. I thought, I think if you examined the snowman, it actually gave a rather explicit reference that yes, this is a reference to X. Come here. Wait. Where am I? Okay. I have Seekin. Let's put that to that. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Seekin's okay. Um, only goes straight forward, though. Can't aim it. It just goes straight out for, from you. It's nice damage, but I still generally prefer to heal, because... And my current state, I guess that is substitute for about six hits. So, you know. And it penetrates enemies. Yeah, I knew you... You start to lose bounce height eventually if you keep bouncing off of an enemy, so you can't cheap them out quite like that, like I was trying to there. But you can get a fair number of bounces off them. Ow. You're dying. You're so dead. Ha! Breaking the icicles and hitting things with them is very fun. I love that they actually deal damage when they sort of fly off. Aw, oh, piggy. I love to did you, Piggy. I love to did you. It's going to... Ow! Ow! Frickin... You... You're dead. That's right. Punk. What's in here? Oh. Do do do. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Aha! You can't jump down. Come here. Break your face. Not sure what you can do about to avoid that hit. Or maybe you can't. Ha! <laughs> the monolith just freaking owned that guy. These guys aren't nearly as dangerous as I feared. They're just more of an environmental hazard than a horrific enemy that freaking murders your entire family. I'm sure there will be worse ones in the next area, though. And if I remember correctly, Matt's got a whole line of uh, monolith enemies for each element in Epic Battle Fantasy IV, so that'll be fun. Ow. Which I'm still on the fence if I want to actually do that on camera or not, because um, with the actual RPG one, Epic Battle Fantasy III, I played it on epic or legendary, whatever the hardest difficulty was, and for the most part that was perfectly fine and I enjoyed it, but the final boss took ages and a fair amount of it was luck, really. You could have the best equipment, max level and max everything, but a fair amount of it was just luck, and it... well, I did a video of it. I didn't it take like 20 minutes, half an hour? Which for, oh god. Which for RPG Final Boss really isn't that, you know, outstandingly long, but it was longer than I expected, and I had to retry it about, like, four times. Oh, that, more of them than I was expecting. Can they turn? They can turn. Seeking time. Ow, ow, run. Impale! Manly running away tactic. It works. Am I doing more damage now? Oh, yeah, I cast the uh, damage boosty thingy. That does tend to boost your damage. It's Kirby! Hey, I got magic for hitting that pot. Danger. Hey. Oh, kitty. We will hug you in a minute. 
Oh. It will hug you in less than a minute. Oh god. That's what you get. Come here. Ha! Oh, and you can hit enemies twice if you're lucky with that. It's got a little bit of knockback, I think. And it's easier to hit bigger enemies multiple times. But yeah, you can... I can currently deal 170 da or 140 damage to one enemy, if I got that right. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. Though... Yeah, let's go full gusto. I think I will buy some new spells. Well, I'm actually using this, surprisingly. So, let's just boost that. Bolt. Meh. Well, next episode we'll go to Tall Tall Mountain. Um, something about Mario 64. I can't think of a reference.